guys and welcome to soul in balance and in this video we will be going over the hermit card which is the number nine of the major arcana and it also represents virgo so the key words for the hermit is in a teacher seeking truth standing alone silence is power listening to the inner voice time to retreat wisdom holder withdrawn solitude time to think time out completion it also represents the yod which represents a seed being planted and we can also see this as isolation quiet time feeling alone privacy inner work spiritual journey guide guru trustworthy master and a teacher and a way shower but i just want to mention here the, the feeling alone side is usually more like the shadow side like if you think about when you just need alone time you're not really feeling alone. You're actually feeling quite happy and fulfilled and you feel like you could be in a room with a million like-minded people. But then on the shadow side, sometimes you can feel that aloneness. So the image on the card, we see the fool returning to the mountaintop. So this is the fool that's gone through all these experiences and has gone through a spiritual journey. Now, what we see is a man standing alone on the top of a snowy mountain and he's holding a light and he's guiding others up the mountain. And if you can see inside the lantern is the star of truth, the six pointed star of truth. Now we see here a man with a white beard, meaning God or God, God knowledge, if that makes sense. Now, and yeah, just to highlight again, he's not alone and he's not lonely. So to him, he feels like he has a job to do, a quest, like a guru. Now, the action that is involved here is time out, time to reflect, like, um, you know, reflection time is definitely needed and understanding that you're a master or a leader or you have some kind of spiritual concept that you can help other people with here. Now, this also means letting go of superficial lifestyle, like letting go of like this fake reality of, you know, having to look the most beautiful or having to have all the best things or, you know, pretending to be something that you're not or thinking that this fancy car is going to make you likable, like just stuff like that, letting go of this fake 3D reality. And um, this also can represent, you know, like that you need time to connect to what's real and what's deep. And this is why we get depressed, you know, because we're living this fake life, like our soul has to hold up this fake persona. And when we do this, it creates a lot of depression because we're doing, we're, we're playing a role that we're not. We're playing a role for society. So we're, it's really saying here is, you know, connect to what's deep and what's true. And it's also, I would say, is to help others like and share your knowledge because this is about being the guru. It is about being, you know, the master and the teacher and the way shower and the guide. So I hope this was helpful and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.